Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the information that detail the real news between the lines of propaganda about government policies and the true relationship we all have with coercive governments. Learn the true condition of our economy, innovations and technological breakthroughs in energy, health, computer science, and space travel. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media, the media that is so last century. Corporate media has evolved into nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but we now have a fantastic alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com provides constant news updates on the issues that affect our lives in the most important ways. Our liberty and our property are under constant attack, and FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda while encouraging the participation of our readers. Join us at FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears has already matured. It's time for Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Believe me when I say we have a difficult time ahead of us. But if we are to be prepared for it, we must first shed our fear of it. I stand here without fear because I remember. I remember that I am here not because of the path that lies before me, but because of the path that lies behind me. I remember that for 100 years we have fought these machines. And after a century of war, I remember that which matters most. We are still here! Let us make them remember. We are not afraid! No fear, no fear, no fear here and declare your independence with me, Ernest Hancock. And we got a special show for you today. Yep, 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 that's the newspaper out in Quartzsite. We've been following what's going on in Quartzsite for a reason, let me tell you why. Because it's so representative of what happens when you, you collectivize people. Quartzsite out in uh, western Arizona, out in the middle of the nothing, out in the desert. Now, what it is, is a uh, community that's based around winter tourism. You'll have hundreds of thousands of people will come, even up to a million. I mean, it's like an ocean of RVs that come for various different functions they have out there. One of their big things is they have a big rock show and then RV shows. But I don't know, this year it's kind of waning down. Let me tell you what. What made it so popular was that it was free. It was like uh, Burning Man for old people. You know, or burning the man or whatever it is. They came there just to be left alone as part of their trek uh, across the United States and finding something warm when it got winter. Now, this has been going on for decades. Well, all of a sudden, hey, man, there's money to be made. There's a bunch of people here. Now, if we incorporated as a town and we did all that we could have, like a, a police department and we could have elected officials and we could have people, we make some money. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, a lot of the people that went out there that live year round, they, uh, you know, hey, I I came out here to be left alone, man. What's going on? As we follow this, we've had the mayor on from Quartzsite come out. He's just one of the guys. He says, yeah, we need to, we're going to, yeah, you need, you need a citizen mayor come out here. Whoa, we have him on because they, all of a sudden, right before he is inaugurated, he becomes mayor. They go, boom, we take away all the powers of the mayor. You're not allowed to do anything anymore. Because he was asking a lot of questions, and he's getting different law enforcement agencies and attorney general's office and everything. You need to check out this, 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 and this. And they're stealing money here, and they're bonding that, and they're doing the same old, same old. They always do. Well, then you have uh, people that are resisting, and they'll file suits, or they'll go to town meetings, and they'll complain. And and you know what? They'll come on this show. Now, one gentleman named Mike Roth, he came on, and he was the target of uh, the bad guys. And what do the bad guys do? You're on the FBI watch list. You're on the no fly. You're on the, you know, because we can get you because we can. Yeah. So we're going to follow that. We have a a publisher of this newspaper out there. Her name is Jade Jones. The name of the paper is the Desert Freedom Press. Now, you go to the day's archive. This is Tuesday, January. What the heck is today? The 10th. It's the 11th. Okay, it's the 11th. So you go for this show. January 11th, Tuesday, 
and you'll see all the links and you can get to them and contact them and see their paper and so on. Now, we're going to talk about this because it's so representative. Now, as you're inside the forest, you're seeing the trees in front of your face, you know, but I'm I see the forest. I'm going, well, what did you think was going to happen? Because we've been following this for years. You know, I, I've, I've been, you know, marketing out there, advertising. We pass out DVDs to the retired community out there for them to get information. Well, this information, it's kind of, you know, given them, it's kind of like uh, Common Sense by Thomas Paine. It gives you the rhetoric or the understanding of what's going on, what to complain about, why. Oh, bad guys don't like that. So they have something to say about it. Now we'll get into it with Jade in just a little bit. I want to finish up what was going on yesterday. At the end of the show yesterday, uh, I'll let you guys know that I was being emailed and phone called by CNN. And then it turned into some other, you know, publications and cable news and everything. It's just, you know, get in line. Well, what I did is I talked to them a little bit. And then I did a spot on um, the realityreport.tv of Gary Franchi's RTR.org. Now, Gary Franchi and I had a little Skype conversation. And they'll have that up later and we'll put that up. Now, this is what happened. CNN, when uh, you'll see up on Freedom's Phoenix today, I had, look, you want to talk to me? It's going to be live. It's going to be on radio, television, live, 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 live. I know better. CNN, he goes, well, I, um, uh, Tom Foreman, I think it is. He goes, I've been doing this 30 years. And I have the integrity of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and I've been doing this 22 years. How many examples do you need of uh, you guys don't tell the truth? I, do you want me to go through the long list? I go, if it's not live, I'm not doing it. Well, we have to do it. We want to give you an opportunity to what? To help you spin whatever's going on about the shootings in Tucson? I know you guys don't care. You already have the story written, what you want to say and or do. It's done. You guys already are done. And you just want me to flavor and whatever and bring up YouTube's, ooh, we were the Obama guys or the black man with the AR-15, all that kind of stuff. You go there, and I have the embed of the interview I did with Rick Sanchez before he was gone. And uh, it was supposed to be just a two, three-minute interview. wound up being like seven, eight minutes. And they just kept trying, and they didn't come out looking too good on this one. Because I just told them the truth. We had already coordinated this with the Phoenix police. They were there to protect our rights to be able to protest armed. The First and Second Amendment oftentimes go together. In fact, the Second Amendment is there to support the First these are the questions, and we'll get to it after the, the first break here uh, with Jude, but I, I, I want to make sure you understand. <clears throat> there are certain questions that they're not asking. Now, we're in Arizona. You know, Powell's already working on getting the police report and freedom of information requests this, and we know some of the people, you know, that you know live down there, know people that were there, and on and on and on, and come to find out, yes, indeed, there was an armed citizen there that helped restrain the guy. Now, um, Geraldo Rivera asked him, he goes, why, why didn't you shoot him? He goes, well, he was restrained. I didn't need to shoot him. Of course, I would, would have had I needed to. By the time he got out, of the, he heard gunfire, but he's running away. He's running to it. He knows, you know, hey, I, I have a fire. I'm, you know, I, you know, I have a responsibility. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, what can I do? Well, sometimes all you need to do is just sit on the guy's legs. But... Aren't we uh, better off having armed citizens there to protect life, liberty, and property? Are they reporting that? Heck no. Do they want to report? They had the father of the nine-year-old girl that was killed. She was born on 9-11. Now, they're thinking that they're going to get, oh, yeah, we need to have more controls and this and that. And he goes, no, I, I just lost my, my little girl. But I, I don't see any benefit of curtailing any more America's freedoms. No internet controls, no gun control, no more control. They didn't like that. And they were hoping they had them a good, good. They're going to get all kinds of more controls. Now, the man needs to control. Well, you know, he's, no, we're good. I, I, this is not, I, no, this is not time to be doing that. Did enough already because he saw it differently. So they call me. Ernie, we're going. To, you know, I knew what they were going to do. This morning, I got called. Uh, who was it this morning? It was um, uh, TalkingPointsMemo.com, whatever. They, they, another group. They're doing the same thing. All the same people that were calling me all last year. And I did one story. I did CNN because it was live. And that was it. Done. I'm good. I said, you know, I want to, you want to know what's what? There, you know, click on that. Uh, I didn't like it. Well, they want another bite. 
And I'm going, no, you want to talk to me live because I know what they're going to do. The Talking Points uh, memo reporter, she was just really adamant. And she just, yeah, but, you know, you, and the CNN guy, too, they try to appeal to your vanity, devil's favorite sin. Wow, but you could be on, yeah, whatever. This is what I have explained to her. I said, you know, we're here in Arizona. Our story is going to be how the story is portrayed. You haven't even got the police report yet. You don't even know what happened. You know, the one question that should always be asked, because this is what we always find out. You have a young man, kind of, you know, not right in the head, and uh, goes through this mass shooting thing. And what do we find out every single time? He was on prescription, often government, school nurse mandated. You got to have drugs, Ritalin, whatever. We don't know. But they're not asking and we know they're not going to ask. When it all comes out, we'll compare with the truth. Uncovering the secrets, exposing the lies. Because what lies? I go, omission. That's how you guys roll. We'll get the truth out.